reporter and it's Sunday afternoon we're gonna take a little uh, stroll through the Lower East Side and see what we can find and we're gonna start here at the James Cohen gallery we'll do a little walkthrough of an interesting exhibition by Simon Evans titled Soul Gym. Well, I was uh, intrigued. I came in and uh, was glancing around and saw the collages. This piece is titled Frozen screen, 2016, 2017, mixed media, 28 by 36 inches. And, uh, well, I like the quality of the collages. They're very densely built up and uh, it actually made me think of the, the officiists, the French um, poster artists that were painting on ripped up and collected posters from the Paris streets. Uh, these pieces have a lot of stuff packed in there and uh, I could probably spend hours looking through the little details. And uh, I like the, the buildup of the paper. It makes me uh, feel like these things are old and they've uh, gathered a lot of uh, patina. It says here that uh, Simon Evans is the artistic partnership between Simon Evans and Sarah Lannan. Their collaborative work is widely known for its text-based aesthetic. Simon Evans uses handwritten phrases and other texts to create dense collages saturated with short poetic phrases, drawings, and images often created from the deterrence of everyday life, both inside and outside the studio. This is more of a minimalist piece. It's titled Adderall. And they're saying this is, this has got to be a mistake. Oil and linen on maple frame, I don't think so. This looks like uh, tempera, maybe acrylic on paper. Eight sheets. And I imagine this is probably about uh, five by six feet. But uh, you can see that there are layers and layers of stuff. Don't bother. Okay, this is a major piece. It's titled Religious Building. 2016 mixed media, 68 by 78 inches. And, uh, well, I like the uh, obsessiveness with the text and also uh, using the various colors. So this is mixed media, so I can see this, this uh, anatomical form is kind of a, looks like a digital print. And then, uh, I don't know what, maybe these are used envelopes or something that he's, they have made the ground for, and uh, well, 
gee, do I have to read through all this? Make art real, make art real, make art real, make art real. Oh no. <laughs> so one of the, uh, the other things that appeals to me is that uh, this has the kind of uh, obsessive wackiness of some of the great outsider artists. Maybe Adolf Wolfie. I think, uh, formalistically, this piece uh, was one of the stronger pieces in the show. It's much simpler, but uh, yeah, I like the, uh, the color and the various typefaces. This is titled Rainbow. Mixed media, 15 and 3 quarters by 30 inches. And again, we've got just the repeated phrase. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so we've got Serif, San Serif, Helvetica, Roman. We got italicized. And most of these look like they were collected from various, I don't know, commercial things, toys, cards. piece is titled Eat Yourself Fitter and uh, well in the press release they talk about how a lot of this uh, the text and even some of the subject matter are dealing with things like self-improvement and saving the environment the kind of uh, messages that our ideology have kind of smashed into our heads I like this because it's uh, it's like a map of the Alps or something. And uh, the format looks like uh, you could fold this up, put it in your uh, jockey box. And uh, then we've got the Avion logo in there many times. Okay, so maybe it's German. I can see a lot of umlauts. Also, I like the, uh, the way that they're able to get this very stressed look. It looks, like, it looks like they were these things were kept outside in between the working sessions. Uh, it looks like the logo for Paramount Movies, maybe. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of interesting uh, ways that they're creating images. Some of it is digital, computerized, uh, collage, an obsessive repeating of phrases. This is titled Yantra. Paper tree rings. Actually, I saw this and I thought of uh, Piero Manzoni and his uh, kilometer drawings, he would take a roll of paper a kilometer long and make one line in it, then roll it up and present it in a tube. Okay, so, uh, please don't touch. Okay, so that's, that's frustrating. This is titled Divine Comedy. 2016-2017 stack of three by five cards. All we can see is the edge. titled Another Selfish Prayer Rug. And uh, yeah, it looks like we've got stickers from fruit. And uh, I guess that's a digital print. Maybe that's a photograph of a rug. 
It makes me think of a show I saw a couple years ago by somebody named, I think it was Torpor. Kind of a hot young LA artist. This piece is 44 by 53 inches. And uh, it looks like it's mounted on cardboard. It's titled Outside Mixed Media on Sock. Oh, let me get some metal attached. Oh, let's go in the back room. titled Black Magic Capitalism, 2016 Mixed Media. Uh, I like this piece because I actually uh, built up the layers of collage and worn them down so much that they've kind of warped the, the panel that this is on. And uh, well, you can see that some of this is, I don't know, it could be half an inch thick. And uh, parts are added in and then scraped away and worn away, debrided. And uh, well, it's almost like a, uh, the sense of a, an endless crossword puzzle that you could just dig through one layer to another and maybe try to figure out uh, some kind of meaning from all the, the letters and text. Information is things, experiment is things. Oh, here's the part I was looking at. Run and fuck and run and fuck and call it making love. Okay, so they're very poetic. Uh, and some of these uh, pictures and pieces of newspapers look like they were taken from maybe the the back pages of the uh, Village Voice and the self-help advertisements. This is forgiveness, metal and silver, 10 by 9 inches. And it's like, okay, after we've beat you to pieces, we'll ask for forgiveness. This is the last piece we're going to look at. It's titled Some Game, A Comfortable Web. This is mixed media on yoga mats. So, uh, well, they've gone in here and created these little geometric patterns on yoga mats. And again, I kind of like the uh, the abjectness of it, the stains, the kind of worn and uh, grimy look here with some, some text there. And again, this kind of makes me think of uh, crossword puzzles. Also, uh, just kind of initially glancing at this without getting into the details, I thought this looked like a uh, Bryce Martin, one of his early amenable pieces. And I don't know if you'd want to do yoga on this thing now. It's something nasty might stick to you. So this is Simon Evans, Soul Gym. At James Cohen. We're gonna uh, keep running. Well, we're gonna continue our theme of works on paper. Run into the Kerry Shoes Gallery here on Orchard Street.
going to uh, look at a series of drawings by Ray Hamilton. This is untitled. Well, I guess they're all untitled. Ballpoint pen on paper, 13 by 10 inches. And, uh, well, if you've been watching the Calm Reports or the Rough Cuts, you know I'm a big fan of outsider art. And, uh, well, I think Ray is probably a, a good example of someone that fits into that category. This is titled, Untitled. This is 15 by 15. Uh, one of the things I like is that uh, well, Ray is using ballpoint pens and uh, well, I really, uh, he works these uh, surfaces beautifully and uh, kind of embosses the color into the surface so you get a little kind of a puckering or a wrinkling. And uh, also I like his text. Now, I don't know whether some of these are notes that he's making to himself. Now, I uh, initially was looking at these and thinking they kind of made me think of uh, Bill Trailer, but uh, the more I looked at them, and there is that kind of uh, wonderful placement of images and uh, kind of simplified forms. But Ray's got a real great sense of uh, color with these ballpoints. And uh, I don't know how many colors ballpoint pens come in, but it can be a lot. And he's able to use a very limited palette to get a lot of mileage. Okay, this is great. East, west, north, south. Now, I imagine he probably just put his own shoes down there and trace them in. I'll read a little bit from the press release. During the last 10 years of his life, self-taught artist Ray Hamilton, born 1919 in Columbia, South Carolina, died in 1996, Brooklyn, created drawings of everyday objects marked by a distinctive blend of poetry and pragmatism. Using ballpoint pens, as well as graphite and colored pencils, Hamilton traced memories. He drew horses, cows, chickens, and other animals that populated the rural South in which he grew up. The imagery and the forms are delicately outlined and built up in dense layers of cross hatching. Well, <laughs> what does it say? Pray, Hamilton, oh, Ray Hamilton. I wonder if that's a rat. Okay, here's one of the. Uh, very interesting pieces for me. This is just uh, circles and we're just dealing with basically colors, although you can see in some of these he's he's worked in, you know, some uh, threads of red amongst the navy blue, a little green in the blue. Uh, it's making me think of the tantric drawings that they had at the Outsider Fair. Again, we've got uh, some little notes, a mouse in blue, a cat. Uh, this is nice the way he sort of split these forms up and you've got the uh, red and blue sections, that's nice. his fist and uh, it's like the handle of a cane and then numbers I'm oh, just counting 
99.8 and money. I was uh, looking at a podcast of Leibniz the other day and they had a page of one of his notebooks. And <laughs> it had pages of mathematical calculations and various kinds of uh, graphs that kind of look like this. This is uh, untitled 13 by 20. And this is probably the uh, well, one of the darkest ones. But uh, I like the way that he divides the space. And then within each one of these sections, he kind of uh, divides the tonal gradations down according to the density of this cross hatching. This is 20 by 13 and again very kind of minimal. So I've got the uh, three blocks in black and then one in gray and graphite. I'll just run over these. This is a series of watercolors and pen and ink. Okay, it looks to me like Ray is about a uh, size 9, 10. These are all 17 by 14 inches. Okay, I'll just run up the last wall here, some of the larger pieces. So again, we've got just this simple circular forms, but uh, what he's doing with the background is very nice. You know, this, some people just have a a blessed state of uh, being able to compose abstractly. So this is 30 by 22 inches. Looks like Ray got some uh, nice paper there. This marker on paper, and I'm kind of looking at this and uh, thinking of Paul Clay. I wonder if he had to fold these over to fit them into his uh, portfolio or something. This is mixed media. This one is 18 by 24, and uh, again, simple form. We've got the interesting text and uh, we just fill in the forms with the cross hatching and the grinding.
Well, I spoke with uh, Carrie, the proprietor here, and uh, he said that he was he was working with Ray when he, I guess before he passed away, he was still alive. And I guess Ray got a certain amount of attention. At this point, I guess he's been passed away for about 22 years, but I'm looking at something like this and uh, thinking that looks Very contemporary. Okay, here's the last piece. 18 by 24. And again, we've got this great uh, simple color sense. We've got the ultramarine blue, magenta red, and the green and black. And uh, yeah, beautiful placement of those forms. So that was a quick run through of Ray Hamilton drawings. Here at Carrie Shoes, 34 Orchard Street on the Lower East Side. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Mr. Ivy. You're, You're great. Keep it up. Thank you. <laughs>